Hey everybody, it's Eric from the MMG. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. Help me keep making these videos for you. I would really, really appreciate it. But today, we're going to show you how to make a heat dedicated server. So this video is going to focus on you putting a server um, up on a machine that you're not going to play on. I know you can do it the other way around. You can play and host. But this one video is not going to focus on that. It's going to focus on having a dedicated server. It may work together. I haven't tried it. I also am going to try to keep this as simple as possible. So uh, hopefully it's easy to figure out. You do need to know how to open your ports on your firewall and router. I'm not going to show you on this, but in the video description, I'll have a list of the ports that you need to open and also a link to a video on how to open your ports on your firewall. Let's get started right now. So we're going to be using Steam CMD to download the server files. You can just Google Steam CMD like right here, and it's going to be this link that says Valve Developer Community. Click on that. We're going to do a Windows right here. Click on the Windows, and then right here is the download link to download Steam CMD. Download that. You're going to want to unzip it, put it in its own folder if you've never done this before. If you already have Steam CMD, you don't have to download it again. Just run it. And also in the video description below, there's a detailed link to how to install Steam CMD if that wasn't enough help for you. Follow that link, get it installed, and then proceed on next step here. Once you get it installed, you need to run the steamcmd.exe. Double click on it. It may have to download files depending on if you've updated it or ever installed it before. Once it finally stops at a prompt like this, you need to type in login space anonymous just like that and then enter in then you need to type in app underscore date space and then nine nine six six zero zero and hit enter this is going to download the server files to your computer your server here and it may take a little bit depending on your internet connection all right, as you can see, it's now fully installed. It is a very large game. Once you have it installed, though, you can just hit exit here and enter, and it will close the window. Now go back to the folder where your Steam CMD.exe was, and you want to look at Steam Apps. Click on that, then you want to go to Common, that, and then you'll see your server. So here's the Heat dedicated server right here, the files we just downloaded. You want to open it up. I do want to go back and mention that these server files by themselves are about 10.4 gigabytes. You do need to have that much room on your server. And there also is a server readme file, text file right here you can open that kind of guides you through it. If you get a little bit lost in this tutorial, make sure you reference it. And next up, we want to actually run the server.exe right here. This is going to generate our first game files, which is going to give us a bunch of config files that so we can edit and personalize the server. It's going to take a long time for it to actually load. Just be patient. You should see a pop-up just like this to allow it through your Windows firewall. You want to go ahead and allow that. You type slash help, you'll see a long list of commands that you can use on your server. Let's do a type shutdown or slash shutdown when you're done. You want to save it. See, it'll do a save and then it will shut down the server. Once you get to this where it says Steam server has been shut down, console exited, it should shut itself down. You are The server is not completely down. Okay, so once you get that done and you shut it down for the first time, you're going to notice you have some new folders here. So this is where the game actually saved. Go into your save folder here, slot one, and you can see all the files for it, that server. The main one we want to go into is the config folder now because it is filled up with different files that you can edit. So server settings is going to be the main one that we're going to mess with today. I recommend that you open it with some kind of editor. It could be Notepad. Um, I always recommend Notepad++. It's free. It's a really great text. And you can see all the server files that you can change. So uh, if it is a private, hides it from the lobby if it's true. If it's false, that means it's not private. This is where you change the server name. Uh, welcome message, max players, here's your ports. So that's the default port. You can change it if you want to. The ports that you need open is game port for UDP, TCP, 7450. 
The async port is TCP 17450. The steam port is UDP and TCP both, and it needs to be 2701. And again, these will be in the description of the video below. If you do not open these, people are not going to be able to connect to your server. Your firewall and your router are going to block these, and people aren't going to be able to connect. You're not going to be able to see your server. That's the issue. you got to figure out how to do that. All right, and then you can see there's just a ton of different settings to change here. Go all through these and change them, and there's just all kinds of settings. They, they give you quite a bit. Once you have all the changes made that you want, you just need to make sure you hit File, Save. That will save that file. Then when you go back out, you'll see there's a lot, a lot more configs you can edit too. You, know, you can do a whitelist if you want, permissions, all that stuff. I haven't messed with any of that. You can customize death messages, which is kind of cool. So there's a lot of customization you can do, but I don't, I haven't messed with any of that. So I'm not going to be able to help you. Just have to figure that out on. You. And if if they have put out a new update for the game and you need to update the server. All you need to do is run through those first steps where you logged in anonymously and then typed in that uh, app underscore update and then the na the number, and that will actually update all your server files for you. Then when you're ready to start the server again, you just run your server.exe. Any changes you made will take effect from that config file that you edited. And then if you have your ports open correctly, people should be able to see your server and join it. Uh, and have fun. So hopefully you'll enjoy Heat. It's a $5 game. Um, I know people either love it or hate it, but it seems to be a game that a lot of people want to uh, play and have their own server for. So hopefully this video helped you. Please do me a giant favor and hit that subscribe button. Help me out. So thanks for watching. Have a great, yourself a great day, and hopefully you'll enjoy some heat.